you will likely need to deburr the jaws when the machining is complete. Now that they have been bored, grooved, and deburred, these jaws are ready for use. In some cases, you won't be able to use the adjustable boring ring because the part diameter is so large that the ring itself will block your cutting path. That's exactly the case with this part here. In this case, since we can't use a boring ring, consider using a plug of material to hold the jaws in position. Before profiling the jaws, we will take a small cut on the inside diameter of the jaws equal to the plug diameter. We will use the adjustable boring ring again to hold the jaws while making this initial bore. We check the plug diameter and enter it into the IPS diameter to cut field. Boring the jaws this way will hold the plug in the best possible manner. One of the important benefits of using the plug is that you can exert full desired clamping force on the jaws. You can eliminate the need to add a taper to the jaws by matching high jaw cutting pressure to high workpiece cutting pressure. With the bore for our plug complete, we clamp it at the center of the jaws, leaving adequate clearance for the cutting path. We apply the clamping force to the plug in the same direction and pressure